For me, cooking isn't just about the final dish that ends up on the dinner table. It's about enjoying the journey along the way. With each recipe step, I've found that spending time in the kitchen can provide a total sensory experience if you let it. Using ingredients that are just as fun to discover and prep as they are to eat, I'm sharing with you some of my most indulgent dishes, crafted to delight all five of your senses. As the sounds and smells of cooking fill your kitchen, I hope you start to feel the day's worries melt away. We're putting everything we have into each and every dish and getting back so much more in return. So let's not wait any longer. Time to get cooking. Whether you are cooking for a special occasion, making a romantic meal for two, or just treating yourself, these flavor-packed dishes will always have one thing in common, a splash or two of wine. In this episode of A Toast with Thai, I'm serving up a dish that's ready to take center stage at your Thanksgiving festivities, lamb stuffed acorn squash. The squash is basted in a sage brown butter, then filled with the lamb stuffing that's been cooked down in a red wine gravy. It's sweet and savory all in one bite. I already had my glass of wine poured, so let's get started. So after three decades of eating turkey over and over again for Thanksgiving, I finally decided that turkey is overrated. And I know I'm not alone on that. So for the last couple of years, I've been allowing my lamb stuffed acorn squash to take center stage. So I'm really excited to share this recipe with you guys. Let's get started on our brown butter sage, which is a very simple recipe. All we're gonna do is melt down our butter chunks. Mm. So the butter is getting nice and foamy. What we're gonna do now is add in our sage leaves. Just tear a handful off. Put them in the butter and they're gonna start to crisp up. And you really just, you leave it alone. You let it do its thing. Make sure that the heat is on a low enough heat so that the butter doesn't burn. You wanna get to that perfect part where it's getting brown but it's not burnt and that needs to happen on a low heat. So now that we have the sage in here, get ready for your house to smell like fall because it's gonna fill your entire kitchen. It doesn't take long for the sage to infuse its flavor into the butter and start to crisp up. Once we hit that crispy point, it's time to take the sage out. Okay, so now that this has a perfect brown color, we're gonna remove it from heat and let it cool down just a little bit. And while that's happening, we're gonna go prep our acorn squash. So, to prep the acorn squash is very simple. We're just gonna do a couple of cuts and then cut down the middle and scoop out the insides. And what I really like about this recipe is that the acorn squash is my favorite fall harvest vegetable, but it also serves as the bowl for the dish. So the, that's the reason we cut off the tops and the bottoms so that it can sit up straight and be a cute little serving bowl for your final dish. So we'll just do one cut down the middle. And now we'll scoop out the seeds. I like to use an ice cream scoop for this because it just gives me a little bit more control. I can go in and I can make the hole a little bit wider if I need to. Cause I don't want to skimp on the lamb, you know what I'm saying? I want to give everybody ample stuffing, especially since we're replacing the turkey. We don't want any room for complaints. Super simple. So we've gotten that out of the way. Now what I'm gonna do is score the acorn squash so that it can absorb the sage brown butter that we made earlier. We're just gonna add a nice nutty flavor to it. So I just take a paring knife, something sharp and small, and just make a few cuts. And of course, don't worry about having to follow along with me as I cook. This recipe is available on ashleytie.com with all the steps. So you'll be able to make your very own Thanksgiving turkey revolt dish on your own. <laughs> all right, got them nice and scored. Okay, so now let's go pick up our sage brown butter that we made earlier. 
Sage is also just one of those flavors that's just very much fall, which is so complimentary to this dish because sometimes the lamb can be a little gamey. So the sweetness and the nuttiness from the sage brown butter really helps to even that out a little bit. So we're just going to generously brush our acorn squashes with the sage brown butter. It smells so good already. And then we're just gonna season it with a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna have these go in the oven and cook them for about 25 to 35 minutes. All right, so now we are going to start browning our meat for our filling. So we're just gonna have some olive oil getting toasted over a medium high heat. And then we will add in our meat mixture, which is a combination of lamb and pork. Give it a little salt and pepper. We're gonna wanna make sure that we season along each step so that our food, the final dish, is really well seasoned. We'll wait for this to brown. Okay, so the meat is perfectly brown, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the pot so that we can add our aromatics in to get sauteed. And we're just gonna spoon it out because we definitely wanna keep some of that meat juice in there to cook the rest of the veggies in. Wanna make sure we get it all, no man left behind. More importantly, no burnt lamb in my dish. <laughs> all right. Add in our veggies, our aromatics, which is garlic, carrots, celery, and some shallots. And again, we're gonna wanna salt and pepper this. And we really just wanna allow this to cook a little bit until the carrots start to soften. They don't have to be completely soft, but once they go in the oven and the acorn squash, they'll finish cooking there. Mm, it already smells really good. There's something about the trifecta of garlic, shallots, and celery that is just, it already smells like a full meal has been made. Now we're gonna add in our tomato paste. I'm gonna let that toast up for about a minute. And then once that gets nice and toasty, we'll go ahead and add our meat back in. Now we're really starting to build the flavor for our bowls. Okay, starting to smell great. The tomato paste is nice and toasty. Let's add our meat back in. Along with our corn and our frozen peas. We're also at a good place where we're gonna want to start Sprinkling over some cornstarch, this is gonna help build our gravy. So I know we're replacing the turkey. I know turkey usually has gravy, but this dish has its own gravy too, except it's wine gravy. So this cornstarch will help to thicken up that gravy. Now that everything is coated, we can add in our herbs from the garden. We have thyme and we also have rosemary. Just peel some of those herbs off. Go in with our beef stock. And now for the fun part, our wine that we've already been sipping on. A little healthy pour. <laughs> Actually, I'll drink to that. Cheers. Now we're just gonna let this cook for a while. You'll start to see the sauce thicken up and then we'll be ready to put it into our acorn squash bowls. All right, now that the gravy has started to thicken up, we can add the final touch, which is a little bit, and when I say a little bit, I mean a lot of it, of Parmesan cheese. The dish just looks so good. It's so colorful with the brightness from the carrots and the corn and the peas. We have a little bit of a burgundy color from the wine gravy. It's just the perfect fall medley of colors in a very hearty fall dish. 
So now that we have the cheese melted, I will meet you over at the counter and we will start filling up our acorn squash bowls. These beautifully cooked bowls. Now we're just gonna put our filling in and then they'll go back in the oven for a little bit and we'll be ready to eat. This is already looking good enough to eat. <laughs> we'll be just a little bit patient. And you can never be too generous with stuffing your bowls. Just add it on there, even if it starts to fall off a little bit. It's a sign that you're doing it right. All right, let's top off this bad boy looking a little short. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to go in the oven for a quick minute. starting to smell really good in here. I think our bowls are ready. I'm gonna go get them out the oven. <sighs> it smells so good. It looks so good. It looks like fall. This is definitely a dish worthy of your Thanksgiving dinner table. Trust me, your family will love it. Let's dig in. It's so soft, it's so moist, you can see the gravy. Mm. You have the sweetness and the nuttiness from the acorn squash and the sage brown butter, which is already a perfect medley. Then you have the meat filling on the inside, the savoriness from the pork and the lamb, plus the complexity that comes from this red wine that we use, which is from Brown Estates, it's called Chaos Theory. It is a red blend of three different wines that I absolutely love, Petite Syrah, Merlot, and Zinfandel. All very complex flavors on their own, so you can imagine in the gravy, it helps to just bring up the flavor of the dish a couple of notches. It's so worth it. So good, I have to get one more bite. If you like squash, you like acorn squash, or if you even like shepherd's pie, you're gonna love this dish. This recipe really is my modern take on shepherd's pie. I think you'll absolutely love it. Thank you for watching. And again, if you need this recipe or any other recipes, you can find them on ashleytie.com. Until next time, cheers.